lyrically speaking, there's not very much joy. In fact, I would say there's no joy in the in, in the Blood album. But compared to Burials, it is a, is a less bleak album lyrically. <laughs> During the three year interim between records, what changed was three years of life. So as three years as three years pass, life shifts and and um, you know, so so many so many things happen as would happen between any of the record cycles between um, you know, for AFI. So the perspective that you'll get lyrically on on Blood is of course very different than the perspective you'll get uh, for burials. Kind of on our last record on burials. I had started started doing a lot of the production ideas before we ever even hit the studio or even hired a producer. So, you know, in a demo phase, I would arrange the songs and come up with the, the layers and the production and all that kind of stuff. And so after Burials, it's kind of like, well, let's just cut out the middle, man. I'm already kind of doing it. Because on Burials, even we kind of recreated the demos in a lot of ways. And so rather than paying someone 30 grand to come in and do that, it's just let's, I think at this point, we're all capable enough at what we do to go in there and make a record. And it, it, the results are also fantastic. I mean, I mean, Jay's production, most people that I've spoken to comment on the, the sound of the record, and that's really testament to, to what Jay did. And, you know, that moment that he was talking about specifically about us doing vocals created a very seamless moment, well, not moment, but a, a seamless transition between writing and demoing and then actually tracking. And um, with how much we sing together years if you combine the hours, I mean, just years straight of singing. Jade is so familiar with my voice and what I'm capable of and what I'm not capable of. And Jade can hear my voice deteriorate when I don't, you know, when I've been singing for four hours and it changes tone, he'll hear the tone change and say, oh, okay, we're done for today. So certainly the vocal on this record really benefited from that. Well, Snowcats, which is our first single, I uh, wrote that song kind of like in a completed form, but I thought before I, I never didn't even play it for him, and I'm like, this isn't really an AFI thing. This isn't really gonna work. I'm not even gonna send it to him. And so I put it aside, and then I came back to it a couple months later, I'd forgotten about it. I'm like, well, I mean, I'll just send it over and see if it sparks something. Because a lot of times we work together on the melodies and just banging them out, but I just sent that one to him and just like, you know, see if you can do anything with this. And then he wrote that whole thing, the whole melody part, and it ended up, you know, now it's our first single, so I'm glad that I didn't listen to myself. Me, me too. You know, I was when I heard it, it just immediately, immediately inspired me. I remember sitting, I was in that room with the bees, and I had, and I had my headphones on. As soon as I heard it, that that top line came so quickly. I wonder how many poor decisions I've made like that that have hindered the band. <laughs> None. Did I read correctly that you wrote 60 songs or a large number of songs? Yeah, somewhere we probably wrote somewhere around 60 songs. Yeah, that's, that's not much for us, actually. It actually isn't. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a little bit. We wrote 120 for December Underground, so. Is that how many we did? Yeah. I think that's sort of like the ballpark figure. Yeah, it's too many. Wrote. Yeah. yeah. It's too many songs. You can't accuse us of not being prolific. Yeah. I'm not saying we wrote 120 good songs. No, no. <laughs> what happens to the songs that don't make the albums? I have them all in my iPod. <laughs> Do you have all the 120 December Underground Pretty songs? Much, yeah. No way. I've got all the 60 Blood Album songs. I've probably got all the 60 Burial songs. What are you yeah. going to do when you can't play an iPod anymore? <laughs> uh, I'm going to auction them off. Nice. You say to the fans. <laughs>